Uh, we are going to assemble the original Prusia Mini Plus kit by Joe Prusia. Uh, I received a new kit uh, because my old kit uh, is a beta version and I was printing on it for just over two years. And Prusia decides to take it back uh, to see how well it handled continuous printing for the last two years. Um, I think it did really well. But it's always great to check all the components and see um, yeah, what happened over the last two years. So uh, without further ado, let's open up the box and uh, see what we have. As you can see the packaging is really co cool of the uh, new Mini Plus. I didn't actually assemble a kit before so this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I did build uh, or reassembled my own printer a couple of times um, when there were new parts released or stuff like that um, but yeah this kit is totally totally new to me uh, and I can't wait to uh, take it out of the box oh this is cool Joe and his team always have some nice surprises um, on his packaging and it's always Every aspect of building a Prusia printer is fun, from opening up the box uh, to the assembling, uh, assembling instructions, everything. So again, your journey begins inside. And there are always some uh, little surprises in the packaging as well. Ah, there we go. So now that we have the box open, we have... A, uh, I think this is a test report, right? Oh no, this is a cheat sheet with all the um, all the uh, screws, nuts and bolts that we are going to use. Uh, there's some information about um, the manual, the guides, the drivers, um, and some QR codes that you can scan. And I think that this is also um, yeah, after they checked if the uh, content in the box is correct, they will insert this letter and it's good for shipping. We have the new assembly manual, which is really cool, but I'm going to use the online version. Um, yeah, so in full color, every step is uh, in there in high detail so uh, yeah it's it's always good to see that there are this detailed assembly instructions for printers because I love that there are some stickers in here every Prusia fan love these stickers including myself we have a test report of all the uh, electronics so this is really cool uh, and all the sensors and stuff like that then we have our Haribo gold bears which is really cool but I read somewhere that we are not allowed to touch them at this point so uh, let's keep them in there for a while we have our 220 volts power cord we have and this is important is on there our usb usb drive with firmware ah okay i understand we have some isopropyl alcohol wet wipes and i think a oh this looks like a toothpick i don't think it's a toothpick but oh this might be a needle to clean your nozzle we have the steel sheet, the I think the normal one, but I already have some other sheets, uh, so let's put that aside for a bit. Uh, w wait, let me show you guys, right? Because that's probably more fun. Here we go, a fresh original Prusa Mini heated bed sheet. Oh smells good takes me back to uh, the 90s when uh, you got a new Nintendo uh, or something like that 
There we go, the LCD for the Mini and the LCD cable. This is the power unit. Uh, let's put that to the side for a bit. Oh wow, it's actually made in the Netherlands in Hoofdorp, like 20 minutes from here. Cool. Cool stuff. We have... Yeah, it's a mini, so I don't think that there's a kilogram spool in there. Well, actually, there might be. We, you'll never know. But there are some samples, Prussium and PLA in here. Um, yeah, always nice to uh, have some samples. Then we have some boxes with the rods and extrusions. We are going to need that shortly. We have, what is this? There's no sticker on this box, but I think, ah, this is the motors. These are the stepper motors for our Prusia Mini. Then we, oh, this is a big boy. Hmm. This is always fun when you have those thick fingers like me. Oh man. This is fun, right? Seeing me struggling with uh, the content of a box. There we go. This is the print head and the heated bed. And these are the uh, orange parts for the for the printer, but where are the rest of the printed parts? Ah, also this nice little box over here. So, to make some room, oh, I'm gonna show you how well that's packed. That's neat, right? I really like this. So again, we are live on Instagram, but we are uh, at the same time shooting a video for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not doing that live this time, uh, but I will do more live videos on my YouTube channel in the near future. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. There's only one thing I don't really get. Guys, can someone uh, that's watching right now send me a DM to tell me that we are actually live because I can't see. Um, and I need to wait, let me check my phone one more time. Yeah, I think that we are live, but uh, this is stupid. I can't even see it on my... Uh, on the screen of my uh, computer, but uh, I'm sure that we are live, so that's good. Uh, the motors, I'm gonna put them on the ground over here. And now let's follow the instructions. Uh, like we have never assembled a Prussia Mini before. It's gonna be fun, because uh, normally I go through it quite fast. Uh, oh, this is nice. They made a uh, new universal wrench for nuts, uh, bolts, and even the nozzle. So that's pretty cool. Let me see where the tools are. This is the print head. Where are my tools, guys? Must be in here then. Yeah. Well, let me take all this stuff out of here. Here are my tools. We have some lubricant with a new application tool. It's 3D printed in uh, Prussia Orange PLA. I will show you that when we are going to uh, lubricate the bearings. Um, all these... Um, little bags are a part of the assembly instructions with which is also great so you just look at the instructions and take the 
back that um, wow sorry guys take the back that's corresponding with the uh, with the manual at that point and it will guide you through all the steps with the back that goes with it so okay I believe we need the X carriers first but for now let me show you the tools so this is the new tool and uh, the universal wrench we I'm going to show you how we are going to use it uh, while we are building we have some hex keys they can go over there we have some new pliers this bag can go to the side for a bit uh, and now they are telling me to lubricate oh no they just telling me all the labels all the bags how it's built up uh, the they are using high resolution images so uh, that's really cool and also if you have questions you can contact support 24 7 which is always great when you buy a prusia product uh, they also answer your questions quite fast which is amazing i actually don't know any other manufacturer myself that's this fast in handling issues Oh, there are some pro tips over here yeah I can't show you this guys I'm sorry but uh, yeah for us it's time to go to the next chapter uh, which is the YZ axis assembly so the tools necessary for this uh, chapter is the 2 millimeter the 2.5 and the 3 millimeter hex key uh, we need our pliers and our new tool this universal tool looks very interesting so uh, yeah let's do it okay what we need is the y-axis oh that was a bit hard Bart. let's put these on the side for a bit uh, we need some bearings this is the bodyboard we don't want to damage that uh this is for the y axis and this is for the yz so let's this is for the extruder and where are my bearings because is it in this bag no it's also not in this bag uh, let me check this box real quick hey this is strange guy oh wait it's probably yeah here are the bearings sorry about that it was it was next to my glasses <laughs> if you know what I mean what we do need now is a piece of paper because we want to get rid of all the grease on the uh, bearings so let me get my roll and uh, take three of these bearings out of their plastic make sure that you don't damage them by dropping them on the ground like I'm doing now it's not on the ground but you get the drift there we go all right so make sure that they are not as greasy as they are now it's um, a little bit of grease from the factory 
and you don't want that on there okay so we have three of our bearings ready oh we also need the mounting clips where are they I think that they are in this bag over here these are actually metal and we need some nylog nuts some M3 10 millimeter screws and that's it right yeah so I think we need this little baggie over here for the y-axis uh, and we need our grease our lubricant you want to open up the tube Uh, place it in the little applicator it's a bit hairy so do I have a lighter here yeah I want to take all those hairs off before I stick it in my bearing and what you want to do now, there are uh, in these bearings are three rows. It's actually quite greasy on the inside as well. So normally I would have uh, laid them in a bit of IPA for a while to get all the grease off there. But we don't have the time to do that right now. So at this point I will take it out like that. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's quite dirty. So we will do the other one with the other side. And still, this doesn't clean it properly, but it's good enough. Yeah, let's get rid of that piece of paper paper is not that expensive so uh, it doesn't really matter all right so again all the grease is out what you want to do is there are three rows of balls in there and on the applicator there are three rows of holes so you want to make sure that the holes are on the applicator are um, in the same spot as the balls in the bearing and then you don't want to put too much grease in there but just a little bit so first let's locate the holes I think that this is it so now that it's in there we are going to uh, gently push the grease into the applicator so that it uh, I don't know why but it ah uh, yeah there's some movement in there uh, so that it only will uh, grease the balls and not the rest of the bearing but you don't want to put too much in there just enough so that the little balls are greased and I think it actually did quite a good job yeah obviously you can't see it but uh, it worked there's no excess grease in there so again we take our bearing we locate where the balls are 
place the applicator in there and gently oh you can actually feel it wow yeah and look now there's a little bit of grease on my bearing and I wanna wipe that off on this one we don't have any okay one more uh, there we go let me feel yeah it's in there gently press uh, press move it around a little bit you can feel where the bearings are sort of a slot in there so take it out and this one is properly greased as well yeah so uh, I'm gonna put this over here for a bit now that our bearings are greased we are going to the next step uh, and that is we will take out the X carriage we have two sides and we are going to place it on my desk like this so two bearings will go on the right side and one on the left now all right we need to take these little tools uh, nuts and bolts out of here oh, everything is falling apart I'm going to take one of my little trays put all the screws in there and we want these black little screws and we need some nylon nuts I believe right yeah or not yeah nylon nuts yeah 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 all right so uh, one two I think we need six Is that grease? No. It's my skin. It's coming off guys, I'm getting old. This can go here for a bit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter which side, no it, it, it really doesn't matter. Place the bearing, clip over the bearing, insert. Using your fingers but there was a way wait the correct orientation when placing bearings onto the y carriage make sure that there are uh, that they are oriented ah i understand so two rows of balls need to go to the side to the bottom side to downwards um yeah so one row goes up two rows are going down like that then we are then we will place that little clamp on there take two of these screws and push them in there I think that Is that smart what I'm doing right now? Are these the Yeah, these are these are the good ones, right? Yeah. Alright. Um Yeah. They uh these are the good ones. But will they go in? Yeah they will go in. alright so we 
we take our nylock nuts put them on there and we are going to use the new universal tool to help me uh, sorry about that wait this is an issue I first need a bit of coffee right And also, I still can't see what's happening on my uh, on my Instagram. So, if you guys could be kind enough to let me know that I am actually live right now, that would be awesome. Please guys, send me a message, one of you. Because I'm blind right now. Let me check. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still live, right? Okay. Oh, I need to hurry a bit. We already a half an hour in and uh, we are not far. So I will hurry a little bit. Yeah, I will do that after we inserted them same for this fella yeah hey wow <laughs> That came out much quicker than it went in, so... It fits on this side as well. There we go. One thing uh, with the Prusa Mini is when you have big hands like me, everything is really mini. So uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that sometimes uh, is a lit little bit prob problematic. No, I'm joking, but uh, it makes some jobs slightly more <laughs> difficult than uh, someone with tiny hands. So maybe next time I should ask my wife to help me out for the little uh, jobs that I need to do, for the little things. No, but we are there. Alright, so what we are going to do now is use the new Universal 2 that Prusia made. to help fasten these babies which one do I need I think this one yeah all right my hex key Uh, 
Oh, I forgot one thing, guys. To check if the balls are in the proper orientation. Oh, but it's really quite easy. So first, you uh, do one side. This is the wrong side, right? Does it fit on both of them? No. Actually, it sort of does. So, uh, first you do one side, then you want to make sure that the uh, bearing has the little wheels, two rows on the bottom and one in, uh, to the top, if you know what I mean. But this tool does make it much easier to uh, well much easier I need to uh, learn how to use it properly <laughs> for now but uh, now it makes it easier normally I would have used this thing for uh, these little screws but all right two rows to the little frame like that and now we can secure the other side It doesn't. Oh, I'm using the wrong, the wrong side as usual. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, the big one. There's a big and a small one hole where you can fit the nut I think you can see it like that this is the small one and the big one all right so we are almost finished with the first part Now we need the heat bed spacers. I can already see them in my little tray. So we need nine of the heat bed spacers. You guys can still see me, right? Yep. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And we need M3 eight millimeter. So those are these babies. How many? Nine. Two more. Uh, the mini eye belt holder, I think. That it's not in this bag, but in also not in this bag. A little eye belt holder. Y belt holder, sorry. This is for the extruder. Am I missing something, guys? Or am I just blind? I am really... Thank you. 
not seeing it. Is it in here? No, right? It's also not in this bag. Ah, I think... Yeah, sorry. It's in this little bag over here. There we go. All right, so the Y belt holder needs M3 12 millimeter. That's this one, two of them. This is 12, right? Yeah. And we are going to secure the belt holder also on the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of the carriage where is the proper size what you want to do is make sure that the um, uh, the, the, the side where you're going to insert the belt is on the uh, side where only one bearing sits this is really important so the teeth need to be on the side with only one bearing And the next thing we are going to do is, let me see, it needs to go on this side, right? Yeah, we are going to insert the heat bed spacers. I am first going to put them all in. And after that we will secure them. maybe easier to put first all the screws in here and after that gently pick it up and um, place the spacers on there the one in the middle is going to be a little bit hard because I should have done that before I did this Uh, before I did the belt holder but uh, yeah so far it's a fun build as always I love to build printers uh, and I extra enjoy building Prusia printers because uh, this stuff is just awesome look at how dumb I am now uh, no, but this stuff is awesome. It's uh, it's always great fun to build a uh, Prusa i3 Mark 3s, for example, because I didn't assemble many Prusa minis as I stated before. However, I took a bunch of them apart and reassembled them, uh, or upgraded some parts where needed, or yeah things like that now comes the hard part let me just loosen this one up i think that's more easy take it completely off there put the middle one in there And what we will do then is secure the middle one completely as well. Which one do we need for? Ah, found it. So, secure it. 
take the tool off again place the cable holder on the carriage and secure the screws we want the tooth to one side, the side with only one bearing that's it next we are going to secure all the other spacers that's it's actually a great tool I already am a bit more handy with it and uh, I'm sure that I'm going to use it quite more often so uh, that's getting cold right Maybe someone can bring me a new coffee. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but it tastes good. Wow. Almost there. If I can keep my tools uh, in my hands for a little bit longer. I think we already did this one yeah so X carriage is done there we go next thing we want to do is put this to the side for two seconds we want to have our front uh, this looks really good holy cow this is actually SLS right I never seen this this is the new uh, the new front and I like it uh, yeah we need where are those I think we need this bag we need our belt let's put it in here what we also need are these big fellas and five let's put it in here yeah all right so we have four 20 millimeter M5 we have can you guys see this there are three different size extruders and for the Y axis we need those two the shorter ones this is for the Z axis so uh, we will take the two shortest out of here place them on my workbench gently um, what we want to do now is um, yeah just place it in here there's actually a bit of plastic that helps you guide the extrusion on here like that and I think it's in the right place so let's see yeah we take our two M5 20 millimeters
and secure them in the front panel, front plate. Don't over tighten them, but you can pull slightly so that you're sure that it's stuck like this. Uh, the next step is that we are we going to uh, do the other one as well yeah we will so it fits perfectly It's, by the way, I, I just said SLS, but I don't think it's SLS. It's, uh, man, I can't find the words. You know what it is. Um, a plastic molding, you know? Injection molding, wow. Was that so hard? What we need now is the idler for the eye belt and I think it's here. We need this little wheel with a bearing inside. Uh, we need two square nuts. And we need a nylock nut, and we need three 20 millimeter M3 screws. So this is everything I need over here. Um, those two. Square nuts are going in the top and bottom of the little idler I always use my table or something else to help them in then I'm using a small screwdriver to push them in place because you want to make sure that they are in front of the holes when you insert a screw then we take our little wheelie, place it in here. We take a 20 millimeter screw, push it in on one side. Oh wait, I think. And on the other side, there's a hole for the nylock. Um, not so. I think you know what the deal is here right let's take out my little wheel for a second will it go in There we go. Perfect. Place a little wheel in there. Make sure that the hole is in front. There we go. Tighten it. Is it in there? No, it is not. <laughs> it's always the same push it in there a bit more there we go it still rotates freely and next we will secure it on the uh, front panel and oh it does it fits only in one way but you want to text the F3 
to go up like that take those two 20 millimeter screws insert them in the holes on the front of the eye plate we don't have to secure them all the way yet for now we are ready next up are the rods so what we want to do now is take our carriage place it on here very gently we have a couple of types of rods and you want to be very careful with these don't want to have any yeah uh, artifacts on there that might prevent the carriage from moving there are a couple of different sizes as you can see we have four short ones and two thick long ones we want to have two short ones then we will insert it on here the other one on the other side I can see some grease coming out of there so that's good yeah also on the other one uh, we flip it over and we want two bearings on the right hand side and place it in the holes oh it's a little bit difficult so let me put it in an angle are they in there guys because I don't think they are it looks like they are in there all right uh, next up oh yeah this is really important we have a bunch of these sliding um, this is really important before you forget we need to put those things in there uh, it's like t-nuts but then a little bit bit yeah it those are t-nuts but a little bit bigger uh, we want to have two on this side and one on top and now we take the back plate put the two rods in the holes and then make sure that everything will fit around our extrusions in the correct way so please double check before you push it in there you don't want to use too much force if you have to use force you're doing something wrong like I am now ah there we go but this this front one I don't think it is in there properly but hey let us try to secure it I think we can and if everything goes according to plan it will pull itself in its slot this is really cool we are already one hour in
and we already did a lot of work so far so let's secure this one yeah I like the uh, injection molded uh, front and back panels so I think I will keep it like this only thing I might do is add some uh, colored letters in the front we can do that right no so we might paint those that's also cool all right so again make sure that it's secured nice and tight don't overdo it because you don't want to damage anything perfect it slides quite beautiful let's take this bit of grease off to keep everything clean here as well all right next we want a motor and we have our motors over here and we want to have the Y motor this is the X extruder so this must be the Y motor uh, we want the uh, pulley and we want three of our screws they are still in here there we go next we are going to assemble place the pulley on the Y motor shaft as shown in the picture and you want to make sure that one of these screws is located on the flat side on this bearing turn the shaft slightly and tighten the second screw yeah that's that's what I just explained but how far don't press the pulley against the motor leave a two millimeter gap so something like that and then we want to secure as i told you one on the flat surface and then there's another screw on there all right push that to the front now we are going to take our stepper motor oh yeah There's one step, guys, that I again messed up. <laughs> Let's take the back off one more time. Wow, this is stupid. I already thought, but just in the last step, I wasn't read it, reading properly, so um, I can do it while it's on here, but let's take it off to show how it's supposed to be done there we go at least we know it fits now there we go that's one side the other side take it off here and 
wait out. Yep. These rods are in there. Wow, that's exceptionally well. Hmm. Come on, man. Yeah. So, that's back. Uh, we have our back panel. Um, where is my motor? Here. Secure both parts? Yeah, I understand, but... Um, how? Ah, we might do it like this, right? Oh yeah, that's beautiful, look at that. This cable over here is going into the slot of the extrusion now. So you can't really see it anymore. This is brilliant, Prusia, well done. Prusa, sorry, Prusia. I don't know why, but someone started that uh, a long time ago, and now I still sometimes have Prusia in my head. But the guy is called Prusa. <laughs> well, let's secure these two first. Perfect. And then the final one. Okay, what I noticed is that these screws are a little bit more difficult to insert. But yeah, it's it's not super hard. It's just a little bit more difficult. It actually went quite fast, so I don't know what I was complaining about, but yeah. This one doesn't want to go in. And again, we don't want to damage anything, so let's loosen these up a little bit. And see if this one goes in more easy. It actually does, so now the other ones. And then we can go to the step we just did. But it's not, it's not nothing bad, we just want to do it properly, so again, place it like this, and now make sure that this cable is in the extrusion, oh, we can do that afterwards as well. Yes. All right. Put our big twenty millimeter screws in there. Secure them. one thing I can do guys uh, let me see let me see I might actually be able to uh, see my phone I am 
still live, yeah? All right. Sorry about that. All right, so um, next up we have these foam feet. Can I also see my chat over here? Okay, so I have this little feet over here, uh, these foam feet, the anti-vibration pads. We are going to turn around the printer, or at least the Y-axis. We want to have one over here, so one on each corner. Let's place it on there neatly oh these feet are beautiful there we go So, the feet are on there, now we are going to install the, uh, the little belt. First, let's turn the printer on, yeah, around, that's even better. Alright, and what we want to do now is first take one side of the gauge belt and push it in the bottom tooted holder like that and I take a little screwdriver to push it in there. Alright, now we are going around our little bearing or our little wheel in the front, then we go, I think that you guys are able to see it better from this side, yeah, then we take our belt pull it over the pulley of the stepper motor go back to your belt holder oh now I'm on the wrong side <laughs> um, oh and I'm gonna place it can you guys see that it's actually quite easy to do it like this um, and then pull on it a little bit because we are going to um, place some uh, tension on there with the tensioner but for now you can pull on it a little bit and push it in the final toothed slot on your belt holder like <laughs> 
I can't see it properly because I'm not in front of it and I want to show you guys what I'm doing yeah I need to pull on it slightly harder is there still some room on this side there is so you want to make sure that there's room I think half a centimeter or something Wow, it comes out of there. Ah, I see what I need to do. There's a little bend in it. So I have to help it a little bit on the bottom. There we go. So now that it's in here, we should be good to go. Let me push it in a bit more. And there's our belt. Tensioning we will do that on the front I'm going to put a little bit more tension on there by just pushing with my finger and then <laughs> and then uh, secure it uh, properly later there's tension on there but not too much perfect all right so this part is finished I can see one thing that I don't like did I make a mistake I think I did you guys are not helping me at all you didn't tell me right no no I messed up the um, the pulley should be the other way around so I'm gonna loosen up my belt one oh this is actually qu quite good now you guys can see me mess up so you guys don't have to so I'm gonna get all the tension of the belt like that I can actually take it off if I want I said actually quite some time uh, quite a few times right sorry about that okay so let's loosen it up uh, rotate it a bit loosen up the other one take it off and that doesn't work wow I need to disassemble it completely guys Whoo! <laughs> Part. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. I don't mind. Started to sweat a little bit. It's getting hot in here. Okay, don't try this at home. man this is what you get for not reading the instructions properly you see now what I mean I'm talking to you guys so I'm not reading properly and then start stuff like this starts to happen but it, it doesn't matter again I can show you guys what can go wrong during the assembly so when you are not watching what you are doing you might have to go back a couple of steps and do it again but hey we don't mind all right now let's take the uh, pulley off place it back on there again two millimeters of space something like that
you see how easy it is to fix things if you mess up and again it's it's also it is it is no problem I don't mind to mess up the next time I uh, assemble a mini from scratch I will know what my issues were this time and I also know how to do it properly the next so this is perfect our four screws and guys I think that I will stop after the uh, Y axis for now because I need to take some dinner and uh, why not take a break right I can get some dinner a cup of coffee and we can do the rest this evening maybe you are fun to join me would be awesome If not, I totally understand, but it would be cool to see you guys here. So, there we go. Now, uh, we are going to uh, push these two in here again. Cure them. Make sure that the belt is. This is actually a bit too much. So let's loosen them up. Still a bit too much, but we will do that when we are going to calibrate the printer so guys for now we did the y-axis and the carriage for the bed um, it was a lot of fun so far uh, but yeah I'm a little bit hungry so I should eat something I will be back in a couple of hours because I need to do something else in between as well I think that I will be back it's now five o'clock I will be back at seven or something maybe a little bit earlier uh, but I will send you guys a message before so that you know that I will be online but uh, yeah we are uh, I think halfway sort of electronics is actually the hardest part but uh, that's also no uh, no huge problem so uh, thank you for watching for now for my friends on YouTube I will be back after dinner too um, and uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon ciao thanks for watching